I don't know why it gets such a kick out of me doing the chrome. I don't know what he sees. Sometime last year, somebody hit us. We're not sure exactly where or when, but you can see they damaged our rub rail. And I know it wasn't us banging into anything, because I would, I would know if I hit something hard enough to do that. But, you know, it's kind of a shame because just last year, or no, not last year, maybe about three years ago, I had redone this whole rub rail from damage from previous incidents. So anyway, it doesn't look too bad. Uh, Mostly looks just like chipped layers of paint. I can, the fiberglass seems to still be intact. Okay, well, fortunately, it was really just the paint cracking. You know, there's the fiberglass is perfectly fine. There's no real damage, but the paint's very thick. It's got a whole bunch of little coats on it, so I can't just paint over it. I'm gonna fill it in with some epoxy uh, putty. Uh, smooth it out and then I'm going to paint it. So we'll see how it comes out. <laughs> It'll be just in time for somebody to hit me again. <laughs> okay, so what I've done is I've mixed up a little batch of this all-purpose filler. It's basically, it's for fixing fiberglass. It's not, it's not structural, but it's meant for filling voids and things like that. And I've used it before. It's basically like marine tech, except instead of getting a little tiny jar, you get a bigger can of it. And uh, it works pretty well. I'm, I'm going to use it to fill in the little paint chips and little gaps from where somebody hit us on the side rail, or the rub rail, rather. We'll see how it comes out. And they didn't leave a note. No, they didn't. And by the way, it usually takes me more than one coat. I'll do one, I'll kind of fill it in, but you get a little dimple when I do a second, sometimes a third. Uh, but it's the same thing with Marine Tech. You have to do it a couple of times. But when it's all said and done, it should look like you've never even seen it. Hopefully. Hopefully, yep. Right. Hey, it's looking pretty good. It's a little bit more sanding. And um, I'll get some paint on it, be good as new. I am so glad we have this sail right sew machine on the boat. We had uh, threads on the canvas that failed. The canvas fabric itself is really good. It's just that the threads failed. So the zippers started coming off and the um, dinghy cover, it's split, but lucky enough, it's split along a seam where um, I just had to sew that up. Again, the threads failed. And on the cushions upstairs, they started to split. The thread, once again, that hits the sun all the time also started to fail. So I just zippy doo them up and they're as good as gold.
thing it fits perfectly there just as well as the other one did it's actually a little bit narrower I think it fits a little bit better for some reason it doesn't look taller it was probably just my memory though because it's a foot a little over a foot longer and you can obviously see it there's way more room in this than there was in the other one yeah this could easily fit four people whereas my other one yeah it was really meant for three at best and um, this one you could squeeze five if you needed to but but uh thanks a lot scott man this is uh this is gonna work great for us yes thank you